Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol LPCN. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like you this time frame thing does a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice price movement today. And not only that, you look down here at the volume. And by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some levels of support. And then we can talk some areas of resistance. First area of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price can stay here up above $1.45. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below $1.45, I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can continue to hold above it like it did a good job of doing right here, that would certainly be a great sign of power going forward. Next level of support after that would be this previous breakout point, and that sits down here at $1.35. So $1.45, $1.35, two of the near-term levels of support. Taking a step back and looking at things from a, a bigger picture perspective, so this definitely assumes you have a broader time horizon. But that is where the purple line comes into play, which is the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So from a very straightforward point of view, if you're someone that's just saying, hey, Clay, how do I gauge the health of the move? This right here being defined as, quote unquote, the move. Watch the purple line. As that purple line moves itself higher and higher, as long as the price stays above it, then the bulls are in full control, full health. No questions asked. Again, yeah, if the price would stay above $1.45, that would be great. But from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price stays above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as levels of resistance, I'm not even going to touch on those right now because in my opinion, after a big movement like today, the top priority is not necessarily breaking levels of resistance. The top priority is going through some healthy consolidations and building higher bases because as long as higher bases begin to be built over time, then everything else will take care of itself as the overall longer term uptrend is constructed. So nice day today. Now it's all about building higher bases. So let's see if the bulls can get the job done or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.